Alright guys, what's the crack? This is Gar, and this is a brand new Let's Play of Game Dev Tycoon. Now, I mentioned this briefly in my vlog as something I'd like to get into, Tycoon games in general, and I've, had, I've, I've, I've watched one episode of somebody's Let's Play, and the game looked really fun, and I, I've always been interested in game, game deving in general. I think this is kind of a cool way to sort of like explore the different aspects of what goes into a game developer's head when he does stuff like this. So let's read this and get started. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you've been transported back in time to start your own, your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. Well, that's interesting. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. That sounds pretty cool. Maybe I'll be in the new Valve. Before you can start your adventure game, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Hmm. What about Feckless? Feckless Games. Feckless Studio. Feckless Studio. Yeah, let's go for Feckless Studio. Player name Gar. Male. Oh, male. <laughs> oh, look at that sick mullet. <laughs> let's see if we can uh, find something a bit more appropriate. Not really. Hmm. I guess that's close. God, what should we go for? Something red would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. If you ever want to review the tutorial meshes, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game, simply press escape to the main to access the main menu to get the help. Okay, cool. Congratulations, you've started your very own game development company. At the moment your office is in a carriage and you're the only employee, but don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. I guess so. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Supporter. Support a young startup. Buy the game. Oh, I guess that's just for buying the game. I got it. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select with graphic technology what graphic technology your game should use. Okay. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Okay. Game one. Um, okay. What about? Um, well, let's have a look at the topics and stuff first. Military, sports, medieval, space. Space would be cool. Let's go for space. What about a space? Space action game on the something big market. Oh, dev cost twenty k. Let's go for something uh, a space action on the PC and let's call it hmm, hmm, oh my god I'm struggling here give me a second give me a second I might just pause this and come back whenever I've got a good name for a game this kind of thing matters to me more than you might expect it to <laughs> so let me think about this hold on <laughs> oh, that's clever and funny. I'll put that in into this little bit as I'm trying to think of a game name. Nanobytes. Nanobytes. <laughs> no pun. Nanobytes. Text based or 2D graphics. I would like to, I don't like text based games, so based on that, I'm gonna have to go for a 2D graphics one. Cause I just oh, how does this work? I've already got a bug. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly and increases the points you generate. Okay. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on those areas. I see. Okay, for nanobytes, what's really important is for an action game, definitely gameplay. Engine level. I'm not really that bothered about. Story, I'm gonna go for half. How would that work if I did that? Okay, I'm gonna go for half. Let's go for that. More gameplay, definitely. Game development has now started. It's only got a one on design in terms of its score. 
You can generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Hmm, cool. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These bug points become less likely once you get experience. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released and increase development time and cost. Right, fair enough. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of bugs already. Hmm, pretty low in design and technology. Development stage 2. Dialogues and level design. Level design, dialogues, artificial intelligence. In exactly that order, I think. Another bug. Oh, design's going up a bit. Technology's going up a lot. Research. We've researched quite a bit, whatever that means. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Great. So with 2D graphics... Um, hmm... I don't know what to do here, guys. I don't really care about sound too much, but maybe I should. I kind of want to wow people. How about we do that? Technology's going up, design's going up. Oh yeah, if we get in the single top of figures for design, I'm pretty happy. The development of your first game is now complete. You can now press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Ah, uh, so it goes down, so I'll wait. And if I wait a bit longer... I see... Wait, one more, one more step. One more... Nah, that'll do. Finishing. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, then will be presented, and you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Nice, I think. I've no idea of knowing if that's nice. New to new topic, new combo, great combo. I, th I think this looks pretty good. Level design experience has gone up a bitch ton. Nice. I'm pretty happy with this. My experience. Yeah, let's release this game. Good judgment. Create a game with a good theme and genre combination. Nice. I thought that said yo at the start. <laughs> Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. You finished your first game. While you develop the game, you also gain research points. You can use these points to unlock new options for future games. To bring up the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. I see. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's go to research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. That's true. Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Hmm, okay. What would I want? I would like my own custom game engine. How many research points do I have? Does it tell me how much research points I have? I've got 22. Eh, should we go for a new topic or should we save up? I think we can wait because I'd quite like to do a medieval RPG or something, so... I don't want to research anything, I don't think, actually. The first reviews of our newly released game, Nanobytes, came in. Awesome. Yeah, seven's alright. Oh, I saw a ten there and a four. Could have been more. Hmm. Seven, good game. It's been my one man. One man in his garage, guys. Seven, six, seven, yeah, you know what? That's alright. It's a, what, seven and six and a half. Could have been better, could have been worse. Feckless Studio, should have been Studios. A newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Nanobytes. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Feckless Studio is turning in fans quickly. That's cool. Um, let's Let's look at these sales come in. I can develop a new game already. Wow! That's alright! Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Yeah, I can see that. I've got nine fans! <laughs> Nanobytes was so successful that we now have nine fans! I think that's probably a little bit sarcastic. Let's start a new game, shall we? Develop a new game. Game number two. Pick topic. Um, medieval. 
yeah, medieval RPG on the, how much money have I got? It's got a bigger market share. But that's just far too cheap to ignore. Um, let me think about this one again. <laughs> King Slayer. How could it be anything different? Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a text-based game ever. I've never been a big fan of text-based games. Bugs, technology. Right, okay. So, story and quests... Story and quests, a little bit of gameplay. Maybe about there. How about that? Lots and lots of stuff going into story and quest. Design's going up, that's good. Um, dialogues, lots for an RPG. Artificial intelligence. And level design, not really that important for an RPG. How about that? Because if I have dialogue trees, AI is good. I'm already at 10 in the design. That's pretty good for me because I was only at like 11 or 12 last time. Okay, sign design, mm, basic signs package. I can't change that, can I? Yeah, I can turn it off. It reduces the thing. I'm going to keep that on and I am going to up the world design and that and I'm going to lower that. And you know what? I'm going to take that off. Let's Let's see what it does. Let's see what that does. Save money a little bit, maybe increase our ability to... Oh wow, company record for my first game. <laughs> Got quite a bit of money, $66,000. Jesus, if I could go in back in time and do this for myself, it'd be amazing. Let's wait till the bugs go down. And... Let's see, you get one, like maybe two more. If we can get up in technology, one more would be good. Yeah, let's go for that now. So nanobytes is off. Cool. That's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Decent, decent record in terms of uh, design. That's good. Oh wow! Check that out. Release that game. That's awesome. Didn't break my record in terms of technology, but I think that's because research market studies show that the Govador is basically a Commodore. <laughs> It's steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumer prefers low price, greater availability, and flexible hardware version for other computers. Okay, cool. Hmm. I don't think so. But we'll see. The first reviews for our newly released game, King Slayer, came in. Oh, it's all a 10! 7. Their focus on world design saved this game very well. Saved it? That's not good. 7. Enjoyable. Because as long as you get more than two sixes here, I'm, do I'm pretty happy. Mmm. Could have been more. Come on, get me an 8 or something. Ah, same score as last time. That's okay. That's okay. Could have been better, could have been worse. Let's see what research we've got. We've got 44. I'd like to save it for an engine, you know. Just hoping to get 50 for that. Hi there, I've just finished King's Day and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use your skills like yours. If you're ever short in cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Hmm. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Contracts. Contracts are useful to learn, earn some extra cash when your balance is low and can be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Well, I could do with six more research points, so I might do a contract now. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you will receive a pay... You will, you will have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Yeah, character design, four weeks, penalty, minus 3k. Hmm, I quite... Logo animation... I basically only want... I, w I would like something that give me six research points. I couldn't get that. I couldn't get that in four weeks, I don't think... F 421? I don't think I've got the capability. Um... Maybe I can do two of these, so let's accept this contract and see if we can do it. I think we're doing it, are we? Yeah, yeah, we did it. Yes, nice. Awesome. 
I just got word from the client that the contract was complete to sex release. Excellent work. Usually I have contracts every six months, so check back some time. Do I have no contracts? Find contract work? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. That would leave me too short. Let's do it. Let's do another one. Because then I can maybe have enough research to uh, get... Oh god, this is going to be tight. Oh, what the hell? Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on, let's... Oh, God, that was tight. Whew. <laughs> well, we did it. According to your numbers, the Japanese company Ninvento <laughs> is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento was... <laughs> Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what the Ninvento will deliver. Those Muppets. Let's just see what we've got here. We've got no more contracts to give out. Okay, cool. Let's develop a new game. Pick a topic. You know what? I could go for another space game. Uh, Genre-wise... Strategy, I think. And I think we're gonna do it on this, since we got the money. And I think we're gonna call it the... Let me, get, think, let me think about this again. Uh, yeah, Yognots. Yognots in space. <laughs> Bit tautologist, but there you go. Definitely that. Uh, yeah. Definitely that. Okay, right. What are we doing here? Um, it's a strategy game, so story and quest can get to feck. Engine needs to be up, and gameplay needs to be up too. Maybe equal in both, actually. Equal in both, I think, for a strategy game. You want good engine, but you also want the strategy to be pretty fun, so... Let's see us get to work. We're building bugs, designs, not going up all that much. Whoa, two bugs came out there. Kingslayer is now off the market. It sold 10,819 units, generating 75,760 in sales. I don't think it sold as well as the last one, actually, strangely. Space strategy. So, dialogues, no. Yes and yes. In fact, less for that. I'm just going to go all out for AI, I think. Let's see what that gets us. Technology is going up. Design is struggling. Wow. Definitely a sounds engine. Might need to save this. Um, let's go for it. Balance in all three. See if that can save this game. Because this game is not looking all that good. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. Pretty decent, I guess. Invento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home game called Tez <laughs> early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Awesome. Let's wait for these bugs to go down. Oh, did we just get a bug? That's not good. Design went up. Design went up again. Awesome. Awesome. Let's wait a little bit longer, I think. To Gar from Patrick and Daniel Klug from Greenheart Games. Hi Gar, we are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. And we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the new game and supporting us. Game Dev, game Dev Tycoon is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup and this hopefully makes sure we can bring you more games in the future. Thanks dude. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much. That's a really nice message to get. Let's wait again just for a little... Let's make it into another... I just got another bug. Okay, let's cash in. 13 and 11. It's not amazing, but it's it's not bad either. It's not bad either, so. We're just leveling up. That's good. Gameplay, story quests, and all this stuff. Like, I'm going to try and do a game that focuses on that. Oh, I came so close to leveling up my character. Gameplay, story quests, and AI. What type of genre would suit those then? Gameplay and story quests. Probably another... Adventure game. Or action game, rather. Yeah, probably another action game. Anyway, release this game. And see what's coming up. Awesome. Find contract work. Let's see if we got any more contract work. No, we do not. So let's research. Research. Custom game engines. And maybe maybe we can do both at once. Um, oh, I'd love to do a sci-fi game. Yeah. The first reviews for our newly released game, Yognauts in Space, came in. Oh my god, it went awful. I'm seeing twos and threes, falls a bit short. Uh oh. Oh, this is not bad game. 
I'm glad the combination rescued it from that guy. I like it. Mm, I saw a 10 there. Quirky, but good. That's not good. We want each, our, each of our games to get better and better. Well, at least we're researching stuff now that hopefully will help.